surviving your first year in real estate. How do you survive and make sure that you are producing enough money, enough income, and generating enough business and developing enough business so you could survive in your first year? <laughs> I'm Paul R. Atkinson, and I am going to show you seven things in this video that you can do to make sure that you survive the first year in your real estate business. Before we get started, remember in the description of this video, you're going to click on the link that's going to help you to survive in this real estate market that you're in today and you're going to be able to build your business by looking at the links inside of the description of this video. And if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and give it a like and you also want to subscribe to the channel. We're glad that you're here. So here are the seven things that we are going to dig deep into, right? We're going to talk about these seven things and I'm going to take them one at a time. And as I get into them, I'm going to go a little bit deep in some of them, and some of them I will just skim past. However, I want you to write them down because I've, we have identified these seven things that should you follow them, you will definitely survive your first year and even excel in generating business to pay your income and grow the business. It's very important. So I want you to take a moment right now and pause this video because you could do that right? It's not live. You can pause it and go get a pen and paper. And I want you to put it down in a book or someplace. Don't lose this paper because you're going to need it. All right. Number one, you must have the right mindset. And in order for you to have a strong mindset that will sustain you for 12 months, 12 months, people, 12 months. Oh my gosh. I mean, you know, there's discipline and, and there is like motivation. And I think there's a difference between the two. I think you might be motivated right now to eat a sandwich and, you know, you eat it and then it's over. I think you might be motivated right now to watch this video because you figure, you know, you're going to learn something. And then after you watch it, you know, you don't apply anything. You, and that's where discipline comes in. Because discipline is like a little bit stronger than that motivation in which we have. You've got the motivation and you've got the discipline. Well, how in the world you're going to get this discipline or this mindset to get you through one year to survive? The only thing I could tell you, the only thing I could tell you and give you is my own technique, the nuclear mind. It's in both my books. In the description of this video, you'll see the links to my books. The first book is The Art and Science of the Real Estate Agent. Day one, close a deal. My first day getting my real estate license, I closed my first deal. My first year in my real estate career, I took home $146,000, living testimony. So that's six figures. If I can do that my first year, what about you? You could do it. Yeah. Here are the seven things. Number one, like we're saying, you have to have the right mindset. So the book, first book I just mentioned, then the second book, The Five Steps of the Sale, it's in the description also, they both talk about this mindset thing. And the nuclear mind is like this. You, you get up in the morning and you actually ask yourself, what are you feeling right now? And just ask yourself, what am I feeling? And then, you, you know, of course, you're going to answer yourself. And then you're going to say a mantra. You have to create a mantra. A mantra is not a paragraph. It's a word or a phrase, just one word or a phrase. And this mantra is something that is like um, exciting for you. It makes you like fired up. You know, my mantra is I'm the world's greatest presenter. I'm confident, I'm compelling, I'm persuasive. I've been saying that for 29 years. When I say it even right now, uh, get goosebumps. I'm like, I'm fired up. So the nuclear mind, you ask yourself what you're feeling. Then you say your mantra. When you say your mantra, it makes you fired up. It's like a jump start. And then you're going to turn around. You're going to regulate your thoughts. You know, like, oh, should I get up right now? Should I do this right now? Another. And you're going to jump into action. You're going to move. 
that's going to move. You're going to take action. And then after you do that, then you're going to take a moment and do some little envisioning. And you're going to envision your day is having a positive outcome. And that's important for you. That's all part of the nuclear mind and all part of creating a mindset that will sustain you for 12 months. When you can discipline yourself, I'm not even going to say discipline because most of us don't have it. When you could push yourself to do this for minimum 21 days or 30 days, you know, go, go straight through. You will metamorphose like a butterfly, like a caterpillar to a butterfly. You will change, I promise you. You know, we have a course, The Five Steps of the Sale, my second book there. It has a, uh, a course that is a um, 12-week course. And the students that come out of that course, ooh, <laughs> they are killing it. Thank you. They are killing it because they come out of the course with all of these techniques. They got new mindset. They got deals going left, deals going right. They have distance. They have a new selling system in place. I'm not here to push anything on you, but I can tell you, you have to have the right mindset, and there's ways for you to get it. The way I know how to give it to you is I've just been presented to you. All right? That's number one. Number two, you have to have a morning routine to be able to make it through 12 months. You have to have a morning routine. And the morning routine consists of, and I could give you a tip on the morning routine. Your morning routine should consist of some uh, me time, you know, like alone time, when you're alone and you're purposely alone um, and you're like either just 10 minutes just hearing yourself uh, and just listening to the birds or just nature, just listening. Stillness, five, 10 minutes, stillness, and just be still, right? And then this morning time should have some kind of like uh, exercise or something to that effect where you can trigger and get out your endorphins. You know, the endorphins make you happy. It's a natural drug in our brain that's released, right? When we exercise, you know, or we smell lavender or we eat chocolate or, you know, something to that effect, you know, look at the reasons are behind how you can get endorphins in your body. It's there in your body, but how can you trigger them and release them? There's several different ways. Find the way that work. And I like exercise, because I think when you exercise and you make it a point to exercise, it can kind of help you to be disciplined, <laughs> which you need. All right, cool. That's important, right? And that was for you to understand that you have to have this morning routine. And the morning routine is very, very important. So what should it look like? We started to go over that. How can I help you to establish that? You definitely can click on my link below or go in the description of this video, and you could connect with me. You could call me. You could text me. Uh, the number is there. Just text me and reach out, and then I'll show you how to develop this morning routine of you being by yourself and just getting all these things that you need for yourself to be ready for your day and be impeccable in all that you do. Have a morning routine that has exercise, meditation, some focus time. Maybe you can even read a book, you know, some kind of book that's motivational. I'm not talking about fiction. I'm talking about, you know, non-fiction, something that is motivating, perhaps, or educated in the real estate business or the business that you're seeking right now to survive over the next 12 months. The first year, survive? Hmm, interesting. Number three you must have a prospecting system. And one of the prospecting systems that we've used here in our academy, the Successful Business Academy, for many years now is that this technique I've used for more than 29 years, to be honest, before even the academy, it's called the IGA, the Income Generating Activity, right? And it's, it's where you get a, a blank sheet of paper and you just start to list income generating activities that you could be doing you know you could be mailing stuff out you could be knocking on doors you could be making ads you start to write these things down and when you do that it can help you to have the most phenomenal prospecting system that eventually will allow you to create discipline and here's why when you have this prospecting system of items and things that you can choose from 
And then when you go to choose from them and you select the ones that you're in the mood for, it's going to help you to actually get through that day because you're doing activities that is called prospecting, which gets you closer to, it's an income generating activity, you know, calling this, that, that, and you're having fun at it. You're having fun because you wanted to do it. You had a new outfit, you want to put it on, so you're going to knock on the door. You have a new um, headset, so you want to wear the headset while you're writing a blog or something to real estate. Do you see what I'm saying? This is real. It's real. You use this prospecting system called the IGA to income generating activity to get this prospecting done because you have to have a system. Now, if you don't choose to use ours, it's fine. Just get one, you know, it's, it's okay. Number four is for you to believe in yourself and be persistent. You want to make it through the year? You have to believe that you are the realtor of choice. You're the best realtor out there. And not only that, but you have to be persistent. Rome was not built in a year. You have to know that the farmer plants the seed, the farmer waters the seed, the seed grows, and then, <laughs> then after it grows, it'll be a fruit. So you have to give it time. And in giving it time, you must believe. And that's why we have the nuclear mind, because when, you're even, when you go back to number one, and we tell you that you have to have the right mindset, and we told you that there is a system called a nuclear mind with the PE exercise along with it, that you're like projecting and envisioning all of your activities having a positive outcome, this is what we're talking about. You've got to believe and you've got to be persistent. It's, it's needed in order for you to make it and survive your first year. Number five, and it's part of our nuclear mind system, you have to create balance in your business and your life. So to make it for a whole year and to be successful and don't fall off like most people do, you have to create balance. And balance means that there's four things that you should be planning for each day. You should be planning for your spirituality. You should be planning for your health. You should be planning for your career. And you should be planning for your family in every single day. So just imagine you have a day where it has all four elements. That's what we say in the nuclear mind, in the book, in the description. Look at the book, right? Five steps to the sale. The second book, uh, first book I wrote, the Art and Science of the Real Estate Agent, Day One. Both of those books provide you this nuclear mind chapter of stuff. There's even videos on YouTube about the nuclear mind. In depth, there's a series. There's a playlist. Look it up. Watch that video, the nuclear mind technique. Okay, so now, when you're going through and you're creating this balance, what does it look like, these four elements? It's like making soup. You got the water, you got the meat, you got the seasoning. That's how you should plan your day, like a good soup that you're making because you're going to go ahead and you're going to make sure that you have your spirituality time in there. Perhaps it's in that me time that I talked about earlier. You're going to make sure you have some health or you're exercising or you're drinking a cold press juice or eating a salad. That's health and it's in the day. And the career, obviously, maybe you're using the IGA system that I just told you about, and you're helping, that's helping you to plan the activities in your day. And then family, ooh, you got to plan for the family. You gotta, don't take nothing for granted, nothing. Make sure that you're going to pick up your kids from school or you go attend one of their games or whatever it is. Or when you get home, you put the darn cell phone away, turn it off, and you look in their eyes. And you listen to them. And when they tell you something, acknowledge. Oh, yeah, I totally get it. Yeah, I understand. Mm-hmm. Do not be distracted. Be in. That's why we say, you know, in the nuclear mind, these four elements. you got to be present in them. And that's the most important thing. Being present in all four. Number six, to make it through this year, you're going to have to practice, practice, practice. You have to do role play. You're going to need selling skills by far, right? And I'm going to talk about that next. And, and when you start to do this, in order for you to feel comfortable and don't have your heart racing when you go on a listing appointment or your palms sweaty when you go meet the seller uh, or the buyer, you're going to have to practice. And that means role-playing. You could role-play at home in the mirror. 
hey, good afternoon. I'm the realtor right here that's next door. I did that for many years, many, many years. And I still do it to today. I role play. It, with my team, you know, we role play. Monday mornings, you know, we get in there. We're like, okay, what's going on? Let's do a role play real quick. All right, I'm going to be a tough uh, seller. Yeah, no. Why are you calling me? No, no, I'm busy. <laughs> it's great. You got to do it. You got to know what it. Get the scare out of you. Get the fear out of you. But you got to practice. That's how you're going to make it. Even when you just close a deal and you feel like you're the big dog, still practice. Practice, practice, practice. Number seven, so important. You have to improve your selling skills. Selling skills is where you're able to make a connection with a prospect, get into them to like you, to listen to you, to trust you and believe in you. And then you're finding out what they're wanting and what they're needing. And then you're able to create curiosity in them that they're hungry to hear your proposal. And then when they're hungry to hear your proposal and they're listening, like, oh my gosh, yeah, you, you could solve my problem. And, you know, they're, they're paying attention to you. And you lay out the most impeccable presentation. And that presentation has what they're wanting and what they're needing. And their DBM, you know, how they're going to feel. When you do that, that's selling skills right there. Because that just makes them go like, yes, can we make an offer right now? I want to make an offer. They make it go, yes. When can we start list in this house. Can you, can you do an open house this weekend, Paul? That's selling skills right there. You've got to get that. We could help you with it or go find somewhere else. It doesn't matter. In the description of the video, look on the link. That's going to help you to get more selling skills. The five steps of the sale, the course that we have, all these things help you phenomenally. Very important. Improve your selling skills. It is needed and you're told Nothing about it. When you went to get your license, there's no chapter in the book that said selling skills. Mm -mm. Nobody. Nobody talks about it. But you need it. Interesting. Maybe we're set up to fail. That's why we all fail. You need selling skills. When you've got all of these seven things under your belt, from one through seven, the most important thing for you to do is to make sure after seeing this video that you're taking action right now and moving forward so you can survive your first year in real estate business. Watch this video again or look at the notes that you have in front of you right now and look in the description of this video right now and get the fast track to you surviving your first year and in the first 30 days getting your first listing under your belt right now. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you again. It's always a pleasure to come and talk to you. I'm Paul R. Atkinson, your professional coach. Let's go get him, Tiger. I'll see you real soon.